Yes, we have. Stop threatening me. Beat me up. I don't care. I already told you. You can beat me up. Threaten me, you fucking bully. Threaten me. Hey guys, welcome back to Viva Reacts. Let's get straight to it. Oh, back at Wellston. On the roof. Oh look, the king of the school of abuse. How you doing, Arlo? Order is natural. He's looking down a school full of chaos. Or I guess, order for him. The weak cower and fear the strong. So that's normal for you, bro. Okay. Those with similar statuses get along. And the strongest among us fight to rise to the top. Everyone has a rightful place in society. That's why hierarchy is natural, because people naturally gravitate to where they belong. Except him. <laughs> Bro. A weakling without fear. So, where the hell does he belong? Bro, he belongs doing his own shit. Like how you could be doing, except you're trying to bully him. Do proxy, you're trying to proxy bully him. Oh look, Arlo. Arlo, how's it going? How's it going, Arlo? Are you gonna be chill today? Are you gonna be chill today, Arlo? Please be chill today. It's okay, bro. It's okay. What are you doing up here? That yeah, look, he's definitely different. Yeah, he got that permanent meme mug on. He ain't having this shit today. <laughs> shit, last video, he elbowed a kid and was in the fucking nose. He looks similar to that photo from two years ago. John, is this who you really are? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, shit, thug John over here. Why are you doing this to him? It's about time. I should be asking you that question. This area is for royals only. Commoners like you shouldn't be up here. You need to leave. <laughs> oh shit. I'm here to eat my lunch. Bro, John is challenging him immediately. He gives no fucks. He gives no fucks. Therefore, you're not getting my fucking cake. Arlo, you are not kicking me off this fucking roof. <laughs> oh shit, he's going up there anyway. Yo, Chad move. He just said, I don't give a fuck. And <laughs> sat down right next to him. I love John. Holy shit. Fucking Giga Chad. Maybe he didn't hear me. This is where I always sit. This guy's attitude seriously throws me off. You really aren't afraid of anything, are you? Well, what's there to be afraid of? You? <laughs> Yo, he disrespected the shit out of him, bro. Holy shit, bro. What, I'm supposed to be scared of you? I'm supposed to be scared of you, bro? <laughs> John is not having it today. Of course, I can crush you in an instant. Sure, but you won't. What? Oh, what makes you think that? It's not worth it. Only shitty low tiers will ever go after a cripple. That's true. Weak ass people that want to boost their self confidence go after the weakest guy. That is something. That is true. We haven't really seen a lot of high tiers like go after John or anything. Just weak ass people. Well, weak ass people to the point where John just being a cripple could fucking destroy him. Although he definitely has some fucking powers. Let's be real here. What could a king like you possibly gain from? Satisfaction. Please, there's nothing satisfying about being a bunch of idiots who are much weaker than you. Oh shit. How would you know? Unless you're speaking from personal experience. Man. Oh shit. John. Yeah, bro. You about to get put on your fucking backpedal Arlo. You need to chill. You think you understand me a bit? Then let me ask you this. So there's this one guy I know with no credentials and he still thinks he can talk back to me. He walks where I walk. He sits where I sit. It's really starting to tick me off. If you were a king, what would you do about him? You should be grateful. Holy shit. Yo. What is this conversation? What? If you're able to keep all but one person in line, then you must be doing your job right. Well, he's not wrong. Shit. You only got one clown out of like hundreds of people, then you are kind of, you're doing it right. It is true. I feel like Arlo's going to like him, bro. I feel like Ar he's going to talk to John and like, I like the way you think, and then it's about to be the same shit. He's gonna make a new friend. John's gonna be befriender of the fucking high tiers. This is how he makes it out of this. After all, the king is nothing if his subjects refuse to follow him. Well, I finished my lunch. Wow. Eat your apple, bro. Come on. Look at a nice apple. I guess it fell on the floor, but like rub it off, bro. That's a uh, nice apple. Eat your, eat your fruits, John. Eat your fruits. What the hell is wrong with this guy? He completely missed my point. Yeah, bro, that threat didn't go. <laughs> that threat didn't do shit to him. He immediately routed you. Not a single one of my threats phased him. Yep, you got routed. Only people with that kind of confidence are those who stood at the very top. John, what were you at your former school? <laughs> shit, somebody doesn't want to be a part of all this fucking drama and fighting. Hmm. I wonder why. I wonder why. Like, your whole entire world's fucking messed up. Wilson's private high school, top 10. Oh, shit. 
All right, Serafina's at the top, you know. There we go, we already knew that. Arlo's number three, who's number two? Who the fuck is number two? He's the king though, who the fuck is, I thought, whatever. Um, there's Remy. Bro, who the fuck is this? Ah, we must have not met him yet, they're not even on the list. Probably another guy that just doesn't want to be in a fucking fights at all. Took a bow out. Cause Serafina is the, the top. Serafina is the top, she's like, and she's supposed to be the queen, but she gave her shit to Remy down here at number four. Which I wouldn't have thought she would be that so high, but I guess she is queen now. And then maybe it's some other strong person who just gave a fucking title to Arlo. Alright. We don't know who number five is yet. Six is Blyke. Okay. And Aizen is right below him. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, this is Arlo's friend that was walking with him. Top ten. It's only a four. This Billy, she's like, surfing is like literally double what the 10th place is. What's like, he's, I guess that's a gap. Maybe we'll feel it. Nah, I, I don't know. That's a drop off. This will be one of the strongest schools with ability level. I don't know, they seem weak. Oh, once again, back at the house of abuse. When will this month fly by and Sarah is out of this house of abuse? I feel bad for her. She's getting abused every day. Keep your door open, getting slapped by her fucking mama. All right, Serafina's house. She is bored out of her fucking mind. She got no internet. Oh, look, and the fucking maid is bringing in books. Fucking assistant. She got no fucking internet, no phone, no nothing. Got to keep her door open, which is like, bro, like. <laughs> and now she got to fucking study. Your break is over. Please return to your workstation. <sighs> she, uh, yeah. Here are today's assignments. What are those books for? Your parents want you to read through these and write a report by the end of the day. I just did that last night. Sorry, miss. These are your parents' orders. Bro, they are making her work harder than school. Actually, yeah, she just sat on the roof and didn't go to class. So she's really having a fucking study now. Yeah, she's fucking upset. Oh, we'll find you something to do, Serafina. We'll find you something to do. Don't worry. You won't be bored. Still fucking work. Just one more to go. Man, this sucks. Last time I willingly did this much extra homework was almost a year ago. Back then, I put all my energy into the most trivial things. I felt to take the time to understand myself. Oh, another backstory. Okay, she slept. All right, another backstory. Everyone put your notebooks away. I'm going to talk about the new term project you're doing. Oh, not again. I hate those projects. Why did I do that? Oh, we're picking off of when she beat up John in a cafeteria. That wasn't like me at all. You fucking... Rage Hulk monster. What was it about him that made me act like that? This will be a three part project. Now I'll be assigning each of you a partner to work with. Each pair will be analyzing a specific set of books and sorry I'm late. I was at the infirmary. Yes, I can see that. Please have a seat, John. He's like, yes, I, I can tell you're fucked up beyond belief. Okay, go, go, go have a seat. Yeah, John, John is mad as fuck. <laughs> uh, me mugging the shit out of her. <laughs> As I was saying, you'll be pairing up and analyzing three books in total. For each book, you and your partner will present the findings to the class. Grade, your final grade will be based on your presentations. Now, the pairing. They're going to be fucking paired together. <laughs> They're not slick, bro. Imruchan, you are not fucking slick, bro. You are not slick in this. Ariel and Elaine. Oh, Elaine. Nice. Hope she fails. Like and Eisen. Oh, the two friends. There you go. Serafina and John. Oh, nice. You've got to be kidding. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they failed that shit so hard. <laughs> oh, man. They're not going to work together. You may use the rest of the class to sit with your partner and discuss your plans. <laughs> They're not going to talk about shit. Get your elbow off my desk. Um, no. <laughs> Immediate, bro. He ain't going. If you don't do what I'll say, I'll what? You'll beat me up again? Go for it. I'm your partner, so if you get my ass now, I won't be able to help with the project. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you said what? You're gonna fuck me up again? You already did it once. Uh, shit. Do it again. I don't care. I already fucking lost. And shit. And you're not gonna have a partner no more. Fucking love John. Oh, no worry. You're not touching this project. Uh, excuse me? This is how it's gonna go. I can't have you ruining my perfect grade, so I'm gonna do the entire thing myself. I provide you note cards for the presentation, so you read off of those. I am perfectly fine with that. Hey, you want to do the whole project that I can do nothing for a final midterm grade and get a decent grade? I'm, a, I'm okay with that. I don't have to work. I'm, com I'm completely fine with that. You have to go out of your way to pair up with somebody that'll do that shit. 
and she is offering it for free. I'm down. Think you can handle that? Okay, now you're just, now you're patronizing me. The hell? You must be joking. No. Hey, I came here to learn, not to free. Looks like it's been decided. What are you talking about? We haven't decided shit. Yes, we have. Stop threatening me. Beat me up. I don't care. I already told you, you can beat me up. Threaten me, you fucking bully. Threaten me. Damn, John, you got fucked up, though. Oh, shit. Here's our story of how they become friends. Alrighty, guys, thank you for staying tuned. Videos for Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and have a wonderful day.